Late last year, I visited Niigata in Japan, the land of sake, rice, snow, and adventure. For this trip, I had a translator and companion, Yashushi-san, a representative of the Niigata Tourism Board, which is basically the organization that sent me to Japan. Our first stop, a geisha performance. In the evening, they took me to an izakaya or a local bar, and there was one thing that I found out. The Japanese are the best drinking buddies. The next day, they took me to Sado, an island known for its gold mines, rice, sake, and seafood. After staying the night in Sado Island, we sailed back to the city of Niigata, and we spent most of this third day doing some fun foodie activities. To mark our last full day in Niigata, we stopped by several places, a garden, a shrine, a winery, an artisan center, and a ski resort town.
Niigata surprised me. There were a lot of things to see, do, and discover in this amazing destination that's apparently well known among the Japanese as one of the country's top culinary hotspots. And I guarantee you, it is. So if you're visiting Tokyo, come and give Niigata a try. I bet that you will love it as much as I did. And besides, it's just a two-hour train ride away. So what are you waiting for?